Hey guys, geeking to everyone. On this video, I'm gonna tell you about Docker. So if you haven't used Docker and you want to install it and download for the first time, this video is exactly for you. So let's start. So what is the Docker? Docker is a container management service. The whole idea of Docker is for developers to easily develop applications, ship them into containers which can then be deployed anywhere. The initial release of Docker was in March 2013 and then getting so popular day after day. Developing in Docker speeds up application as it shares the kernel and other resources instead of requiring dedicated server resources. There are two versions of Docker, Community Edition and Enterprise Edition. If you have a small scale project or you are just learning, you can use Docker Community Edition. So it is important to brief mention about features and advantages of Docker. So let's talk about features of Docker. First feature is the ability to reduce the size of development by providing a smaller footprint of the operating system via containers. Second one, with containers it become easier for teams across different units such as development, QI and operations to work seamlessly across applications. Third feature, you can deploy Docker containers anywhere on any physical and virtual machines and even on the cloud. And fourth feature, Docker containers are pretty lightweight. They are very easy scalable. So, advantages of Docker is uh, memory usage, portability, scalability, and boot up time. Let's talk about Docker components as well. First component is uh, Docker software. You can download and install it into the Mac, Linux, and Windows. Also, it's a Docker engine. Docker Engine is used for building Docker images and creating Docker containers. Docker Hub. Docker Hub is the registry which is used to host various Docker images. And Docker Compose. The Docker Compose is used to define applications using multiple Docker containers. So let's move ahead and start practical part of this video. Firstly, you want to know how I can install Docker on my operational system. Actually, there are different ways for installation. My operation system is Linux Ubuntu. You can check it out your Linux operational system using this command you name and minus A option. As you can see, there is a Linux Ubuntu and there is a version and I'm gonna download and install Docker on my Linux Ubuntu operational system. I can do this different ways. First way is install Docker on Ubuntu using default repository. Second, install Docker from official repository. I'm gonna do this by this way. So third way is install Docker manually by downloading the Docker file. And last one is install Docker from the convenience script. So as I said, I'm gonna install Docker from official repository. Let's do that. So to install Docker from official repository, first step, I recommend you update the local database. To update local database, you can use a command sudo apt get update. Okay, press enter. You have to type password. Okay, it takes time, of course. Okay, it's finished, let's clear the terminal. 
So second step is downloading dependencies. So let's type this command sudo apt get install Okay, by this command you can download dependencies. To clarify this command, I'm gonna briefly say some info. So, apt transport http, I highlight the text, allows the package manager to transfer files and data over https. CA certificates allows the system and web browser to check security certificates. Curl. Curl is a tool for transferring data. You can check on my YouTube channel another video about Curl. And last one, software properties common, adds scripts for managing software. So let's press enter. Yeah, and dependencies are installed now. So let's clear the terminal. So next step is adding Docker's GPG key. This key is required to ensure that all data is encrypted when downloading the necessary package for Docker. To ensure that the software you are installing is authentic. So let's type this command curl minus f s s l http s Okay, and let's run this command. Okay, on output you can see okay, that everything is okay. Step four, installing the Docker repository. To install the Docker repository, let's type this command, sudo This command, I highlight the text lsb release minus cs scans and returns the code name of your Ubuntu installation. In my case, is Bionic. Also, the final element of the command stable is the type of Docker release. A stable release is tested and confirmed to work. So I prefer stable release. Okay, press enter. Uh, okay, I have to do this. 
Okay, it's downloading now. Okay, let's clear the terminal. Next step, step five is updating repositories. We already time and run this command. Do this one more time. Okay. Okay, let's clear the terminal. Okay, and finally step six, installing latest version of Docker. I'm going to install latest version of Docker, but if you want to install specific version of Docker, I'm going to show you how to do that on this video as well. So let's type this command sudo apt get Tal docker ce so by this command you can install latest version of docker but if you want to install a specific version of docker you can instead of this text i highlight now you can specify the version you want to install on your operational system if you remove that and run this command I highlight the text you installing latest version of docker so press enter okay and docker is installing right now on your operational system okay So my congrats, the docker is installed. So as you can see, I highlight the text. There is a, one error occurred. It's a fail to start docker application container in Jin. So let's check this. Let's clear the terminal. Let's ensure that the docker was downloaded. Docker version Okay, as you can see now on my Linux operation system there is a docker installed and there is a version of this docker. As we mentioned there was error to run docker engine. Let's check it out this. Okay, don't forget type sudo. As you can see it's failed so let's run docker engine manually okay let's clear the terminal so before we start and run images and containers we have to find out what are the images and containers so in docker everything is based on images a docker image is a file used to execute code in docker container docker images act as a set of instructions to build a docker container like a template so but where we can download these images mostly you can download from the registry and Docker Hub is the main registry service on the cloud that allows you to download Docker images that are built by other communities. So also you can upload your own Docker built images to Docker Hub. So let's talk a little bit more about Docker Hub. Okay, you can open uh, Google and type Docker Hub. And first link is gonna be hubdocker.com 
you can open it okay there is a docker hub you can sign up here and then sign in if, if you want to for example create your private registry here okay but mostly many images you can download free without any registration so let's type ubuntu and press enter okay here we go you can scroll all this list there are many ubuntu images you can set filters on the left and also there is a docker official image of ubuntu so let's open it as you can see there is official ubuntu image you can download it by this command docker pull ubuntu also on this page you can see some information about this image how to build this image about license etc uh, so we are gonna use this image and we are gonna install we are gonna pull this image on our docker let's do that so we have to type sudo docker pull ubuntu uh, if we don't specify any version after ubuntu uh, it's gonna be downloaded latest version but if you want to download a specific version you have to specify the version you want to download instead of text i highlight now okay but i want to download latest version so i just remove this and just press enter you have to type the password okay one more time <laughs> if you type it wrongly okay as you can see default tag latest but if you one more time want to download a specific version you can specify the version of the colon okay it takes time to download ubuntu is downloaded successfully okay if you want to know what images are downloaded in your docker you have to type sudo docker images so very simple as you can see ubuntu images with tag latest which have image id it's a creation date and size as well so let's download one more image so let's download another image postgres sql database you can download it using sudo docker pool postgres i'm gonna download the latest version of postgres as well but if you want to download a specific version you can specify the version of the column like that to get more information about images and versions you can get a docker hub and check it out there so press enter so let's check out all images we downloaded you can use a sudo docker images command press enter as you can see there is a postgres image there is ubuntu image with their meta information included there is information about tag there is information about version and unique image id information when these images were created 
and the size of images okay and what you can do with these images actually you can run a container from image and container is an instance of an image you can see a syntax on the screen now so let's so let's run a container from Ubuntu image. So type sudo docker run minus it Ubuntu bin bash. By this command, we run a container from Ubuntu image. This option minus it is used to mention that we want to run in interactive mode and bin bash in the end of this command is used to run the bash shell once Ubuntu is up and running. So let's press enter. So as you can see we dropped into container shell run some command and you name A as you can see it's a container Ubuntu shell uh, so to exit from this shell you can type exit or press ctrl D okay exit if you want to see information about container you have to run this command sudo docker ps so by this command you can see uh, all running container as you can see there is no running container if you want to see all containers you can use a minus a option so you can use a sudo docker help command to check an info about docker included different commands, common commands, management commands, swarm commands and just uh, simple commands. Uh, so you can find different commands how to manage containers, images, etc. So it's uh, plenty information about Docker. So don't hesitate to learn this. I'm gonna show you how you can remove containers and stop it and start it. For example, if you run this command, you can see all containers. There are two containers and they are, the status of these containers is not running, it's exited. So we can remove these containers by this command okay you have to specify sudo docker rm and then the id of container you want to remove if you press enter okay one more time let's check there is only one container another one we just remove let's remove this one as well copy okay Okay, as you can see, sudo docker psa, there is no containers. Let's check one more time what images we have. Docker images, two images. If you want to remove an image, you can use a sudo docker rmi and then you specify the image id so but i don't want to remove these images but you can do this if you want return the image ids for the images you can use a sudo 
docker images minus q as you can see it returns only IDs of images we have okay let's clear the terminal so let's run a container from another image postgres you can do this run this command sudo run then we specify the port so this called port mapping right port is the port of container and left port is the port of the host so from outside we can have uh, access to the Postgres database using these ports then minus E option which let us set environment variable Uh, you can specify the password, it's gonna be test password for instance and minus D minus D this flag help us run the container in the touch mode means in the background process and then you specify the name of your image it's a postgres in in my case so press enter yeah i forget the main command docker okay docker okay press enter so the, we run the container to check this out we can run sudo docker ps command and we see container id name of image the command we run the creation time status of this container it's up now there is a ports we specify for container okay if you want to work with Postgres database you can do this by different ways you you can install a pg admin client or you can connect by cli and i want to show you how you can do that you can type sudo exec means execute minus it then container id you can copy that then specify shell it's going to be bash postgres user you can use the sql minus h local host minus p means port and we already mentioned the port minus u means, means user default user and password we specify and minus w option means authenticate with password so press enter so our password was test password or so press enter so we authenticate successfully and we use some commands here to check list of database also we can create a database by create database command test data base okay oops
okay we created a database named test database okay as you can see here so as you can see here I highlight the text if you want to exit you can use the Q command then exit okay let's clear the terminal let's check the Postgres container one more time sudo docker ps so it's running and let's stop this container to stop this container you can use a sudo docker stop command and specify the container id okay one more time this command is showing us the running containers if you want to show all containers you have to add minus a option so as you can see our container postgres is exited now so the status is exited because we stopped the container if you want to start this container you can use a sudo docker start and you have to specify the ID of this container but I want to remove this container instead of starting this okay I can remove the container using rm command I can remove the container using sudo docker rm command and then specify the container id okay let's check there is no container means we deleted this container successfully so if we want to run postgres container again we can use a command we used before so I just find this command this one okay let's type it one more time press enter okay okay let's check this container using sudo docker ps command so container id actually as you see there is another id compared with the first container we created for postgres as well but let's copy that let's check the database we created recently sudo docker exec then pass the container id and then type bash psql host localhost port as you know 5432 user default user postgres and for authentication we request a password the password is a test password okay okay let's check as you can see there is no test database we created that's how it works by default when containers is get removed all creating data all inserting data are get removed as well but how we can save all data we insert especially for database it's so important how you can do that I'm gonna show you let's let's stop and remove the container
Okay. Then I remove this container. If you run the Docker container, if you run the Postgres Docker container and you insert some data inside database, you want to save this data even if if the container even if the container died, you want to save all data. How you can do that? So let's find the command we run the container. You can use the volumes. Volumes help you to save the data from containers to the specific location on your host, for example. So minus V short from volumes, then you have to specify the folder okay i create a folder data on my current working directory and then you after column you have to specify the location of data you wanna save on the container it's a var lib post sql data so by this command all data inside this pass varli postgres sql data is going to be duplicated in in data directory in my current working directory on my host machine so press enter so let's check uh, so let's check uh, created docker container sudo docker so we created container with the container ID. I highlight, I copy this ID now. So it's, uh, so let's, so let's create the database and then kill this container to check how uh, the volume works and how all data is safe in this directory. Okay, firstly, I'm gonna create a database sudo docker exec okay. Okay, create data base test. Okay, let's check one more time. Okay, there is a test database. Let's exit from this and okay, let's clear on the terminal sudo docker ps okay let's copy one more time container id let's stop and remove this container in one command sudo docker stop so let's stop and remove this container sudo docker stop then the container id So by this command, we firstly stop the container and then we remove it. So let's press enter. Yeah. Okay, as you can see, there is no active container and we add minus A option to see all containers. There is no containers at all. And one more time, let's run. Yeah, let's run this command uh to run a 
docker containers let's run this command to run a docker containers based on the postgres image and specify the volume you know and let's run ls command as you can see as you can see there is data directory created here so let's check what is inside this directory okay so on this directory you can see the data from postgres sql database we specified the volume to save an inserted data into database so all this info is safe on this directory so and if we run one more time the container and specify the volume and this directory and specify minus v volume and specify this directory and this path inside the container let's do that okay sudo let's check the container id okay let's copy that okay Okay, let's past new ID. and if you check you can find there is a, our there is a database named test we created before so if you want to save inserted data into containers you can use the volumes so let's close it let's clear the terminal